This is brought to you by the Electronic Church of God, Arizona. Thank you. Welcome to September 19th, 2007, that we call Wednesday in the midst of the week. Well, brother, let's get right into the Lord's Care Ministry. One Year with the Lord, Day 262, Jesus teaches about the coming of the Kingdom of God, Luke chapter 17, verses 20 through 21. One day the Pharisees asked Jesus, When will the Kingdom of God begin? Jesus replied, the kingdom of God is not ushered in with visible signs. You will not be able to say it has begun here in this place or there in that part of the country, for the kingdom of God is among you. The kingdom among them emphasized that he, the king, was in their midst. The kingdom within. The Pharisees asked when God's kingdom would come, not knowing that it had already arrived in God's only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ. Kingdom of God is not likely an earthly kingdom with geographical boundaries. Instead, it begins with the work of God's Spirit in people's lives and in their relationship with God, His Son, and others. When Jesus ascended into heaven, the knowledge of God's coming kingdom would remain in the hearts of all believers through the presence of his Holy Spirit. Still today, we must resist looking to institutions or programs for evidence of progress and the coming kingdom of God, of coming of God's kingdom. Instead, we should look for what God is doing in people's heart. Fear God. Keep his commandments. A Philippian pilgrim. A workman for God. A friend of Christ. And now, brethren, it is time to sit down and think and go over all of your sins. Repent of them. And then after you have truly, fully in your heart repented, never bring up that particular sin again. For God says he will wipe it from the book. And he don't want you to remember it again. Just refrain from doing it from practicing sin. Practicing sin is breaking the fourth commandment, breaking the second commandment, breaking the fifth commandment, and on down the line. Repent from breaking these commandments and get on with a truly a life in Christ. Well, with that, brethren, I think that we will shall call it for a day. You have a good middle of the week. I know I will. So God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. If you would like to donate to this ministry, please mail to COGA 13131 West Tucky Lane, Glendale, Arizona 85307. This would be very much appreciated in keeping this ministry going. Thank you. Produced for you by Forrest Grote. Thank you.